Hello, I am sports, but please call me sports and speedruns. It's good to see you all here today. This is a big day for me because today is uh, today's launch day. Today is the launch of my first ever talk show, full stop, right here on Twitch, and it is good to see you all. Folks, we've got a show packed for you tonight. I got a bunch of stuff, so why don't we get right into it with intros? Yes, so the game today we are playing is called NBA Jam, and it was released in 1994, I believe. Uh, I lied, sorry. I get this wrong all the time. 1992-93 rosters, so. Yeah. And it came out on a lot of systems. It came out on the SNES, the Genesis, the Game Boy, Sega Game Gear, and the, uh, the Sega CD. So a lot of different consoles, and of course this game was a smash hit. Really, you know, very over-the-top. One of the first over-the-top basketball games, you know. And it had 1992-93 rosters. But, you know, licensing issues, whatnot, the stuff like that, whatever. But, um, uh, it certainly, it was a huge, hugely successful game. I remember reading a Sports Illustrated article about it a couple of, a uh, couple of days ago. A uh, couple of weeks ago, I should say. Apologies. A couple of weeks ago, which was very good. Uh, talking about the development of NBA Jam. And it, it's very interesting because I did a little digging myself. Uh, I took a look at some magazines. Uh, look, took a look at a specific article in GamePro magazine that uh, was released in 1994, specifically March. And in that issue, they actually said that, you know, it was the highest grossing arcade game of all time in 1994, of course. So that could have changed, but... I mean, seriously, I mean, you cannot go wrong with this game. It's got over-the-top action, it's really good, and uh, there's really nothing bad I can say about it. I've had this game for ages, and I have, I've loved it. It is certainly, it is a, it is a very good game. You know, I, I love it. It is certainly, uh, certainly one of the best sports games around, and if you can pick it up, I highly recommend it. But... What do, what do other people think about it? You know, I, my perspective's my perspective. What are other people's perspectives on it? Well, taking a look at the reviews, you see EGM gave the Genesis version a 7.6 out of 10, and they gave the SNES version a 9 out of 10. Now, now, again, you have to remember that this came out in 93, 94, around that time. I don't exactly remember the date. And, uh, I mean, that, it was, uh, you know, that's... You don't have that many reviews. So this is really all we have to go off of. So you can't really get the whole picture. But going back to that GamePro article, I mean, I did I did find some funny stuff, you know. It's so funny because they, they actually were able to get their numbers from Blockbuster at the time. And it was like, they, they like, get their stuff. They, like, they get their numbers on, like, rentals, right? And it's, like, not even, like, what, like, is bought. It's just, like, rentals themselves. So it's <laughs> like what, like wh why? Uh, but okay, yeah. Right. And so, arcade version, what not? Okay, but I mean, Sonic Spinball at that time was the highest rented Genesis game, and that's just funny because we all know how how bad uh, that Sonic Spinball version is. Very, very, very laggy. Uh, that that was that was uh, that was very funny. Very, very funny. But overall, I, I, I've had this game for a while. I personally, I, I really like this game. This game, you know, I've had it since oof, September of 2019 and loved every second of it. It's, uh, it's, as, it's as good as it gets on a sports game on the Genesis. And yes, I do have NBA Live 95. So I wouldn't necessarily say that it was, you know, yeah, they're both two very good games. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Two, two extremely good games, uh, but I mean, this is certainly we got a lot to unpack here. We got a lot of stuff, uh, you know. It's only you know you can see we got all this stuff. You know, I love how they have like the the, the grand champions and all this stuff. It's still much very. It's it's a lot like the arcades, and I I like that. Up next on the docket, folks, we have uh, let's talk about the significance of this game with uh, with on this day. Uh, let's talk about it. Okay. So, on this day, this is an interesting thing. 
Today, it's NBA Jam Tournament Edition. And I don't have much to say about it. You know, it was released in 1994. It was a follow-up to NBA Jam. Updated stuff. I don't have it. I don't know why I don't have it. But it got released on a bunch of different consoles and stuff. So that was that was, that was was a cool thing. Uh, I, I was a fan of it. Um, wow, yeah. I, 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 like, I, I like that kind of stuff. Like, they, like... Basically, it's like DLC, like before DLC, and I find that stuff so cool. But while I'm talking about this, why don't we start to get in and actually take a look at the game gameplay, shall we say? Uh, so we got three different, uh, two different modes. We got team game and head to head, and that's basically multiplayer stuff. I, I feel like this thing supported four. It did definitely support four player stuff, but uh, we won't do record keeping here. But, I mean, look at, like, it's, like, I mean, all these teams. Now, granted, again, licensing stuff, so there wasn't, like, Michael Jordan on the on the uh, the Bulls, like, proof in point. But, like, it's still a solid, like, I like I always like playing as uh, as Detroit. Um, Detroit with uh, Isaiah Thomas and Bill Lambeer. Those, uh, I honestly think this is one of the best teams in, in, in the jam, of course. You know, I, I love that. I love that. That's honestly great. Um, it certainly is. It's a lot of fun, um, playing as the Pistons, and, uh, it's really the only thing I play. Their only team I play as, like, I, I, not even, like, the Bulls, but, you know, just that, that stuff. And then you can actually switch who you can play as with player one. I prefer playing as Isaiah Thomas, just because of the fact that his shooting is off the charts, so I can just basically shoot from anywhere, and it'll, it'll, it's almost guaranteed it'll go in. But... I always find it funny when we're talking about NBA Jam and NBA Jam Tournament Edition. I always try and bring this up when I'm talking to people about it. And I'm always like, hey, the, the Tournament Edition came out on the Atari Jaguar. Like, the Atari Jaguar. Like, that's like something okay. So, here we go. Let's go. So, A is our turbo. A is to block. Okay. B is to sprint. That's important. B is to sprint. So, you can see we're sprinting here. Uh, and then, uh, I think it's A to pass. Oh. Oh! Oh, the sky hook! Yes, uh, I'm not going to do as much commentating, uh, as I did on the NBA, uh, live part. Because that is, uh, why... Ooh, boy, this is not good. I need to figure out, uh, how to... How do I, how do I... Alright, it's pass with that, okay. Uh, oh, pump fake! Oh, wow, that's bad. Yes. So we have a lot of stuff that uh, lot of stuff that we have to cover here. Oh boy! Oh! Oh! Big dunk! Big dunk! So let's get into our, our our next segment. Also, that that oh shoot. Um, we're going to get into we're gonna get into we're gonna get into some uh we're gonna get into some news. Let's get into the to the nice and juicy stuff that uh. That I, I want to talk about. That's a shot clock violation. Yikes. So let's talk. This is going to kind of be the meat and potatoes of our talk show. And uh, I'm going to try. Don't, don't. I'm going to try and actually get more people in as time goes on. Um, just because I want. I need to have somebody to talk to. Because of course this is a talk show. So. Uh, big dunk. Wow. He slams it home. Ooh. Ooh wee. Wow. Yes. So. Oof. Yes. So let's get into now the latest. Analyzing the latest news and video games. This is going to be your go-to source in the future. On uh, on this is going to be your current segment, and it's going to be uh, we're going to be going in depth with uh, with games and talking about this stuff. And my game crashed. No, it didn't. That's the end of the quarter. What am I talking about? Also, I'm going to change. I forgot to change this thing. Uh, I thought my game seriously crashed there. I forgot to update my thing to, uh, it should be talk show. Talk shows and podcasts. There we go. So let's talk. Let's talk. All right, so our first story of the day, the chip shortage that uh, has been playing the video game industry has been extended. Uh, they're saying it's going to extend into 2022 and 2023, uh, possibly into 2023. Uh, Toshiba, uh, there was a report in Bloomberg uh, a couple of uh, days ago that, that detailed what's been going on. They're saying that uh, a lot, due to, due to COVID 
and uh, other stuff and uh, at uh, facilities in uh, Asia and uh, around the world and it's just it's it's very tough right now in the uh, in the chip making world I guess uh, you know there's just it's not only shortages right it's it's a very complex issue because it's not just one thing that you can point to and say there that is uh, that is uh, what's causing the chip shortage uh, it's not like that it's not like that you know, a lot of it is, again, shortages, but it's also a lot of, oh, wow. It's a lot of also the fact that so many people want this stuff. You have to remember, we're still all cooped up at home. It's not like we're, uh, it's not like we're just all, you know, all out and about and we're, uh, we're, we're doing stuff. And, uh, it's not like that anymore. It's, it's, it's. You know, it's you're still you're still inside, and there's still a lot of demand for electronics. It's as simple as that. From everything from cars to phones to video games, and I don't think that's going to slow down. Again, I'm not an analyst, but I think that something like that's going to happen. I think you're going to see it slow down in a way that's going to uh, impact the industry in a negative light, and uh, I don't think there's much you can do about that. There is not much you can do about that. You know, there, there's, it's, it's going to be a problem for a while. Um, and again, what is, what does this mean for you? And like, from a, from like a gaming perspective, well, again, you have to remember that, uh, you have to also remember that, uh, Nintendo, Nintendo's releasing the Switch OLED on October 8th. And that's going to be a problem because if, if there's something that happens and these chip shortages continue, how are you going to get a lot of these Switch OLED? It's going to be the PS5 all over again. Uh, it's going to be the PS5 all over again. And uh, it's going to be a big problem. We're also going to take a look quickly. Let's take a look at this. Uh, yes, so we have 14 points. Uh, and Lambier is 8. Yeah, it's a tie game, basically. That's all you really need to know. We can take a look at stats later. Um, but yeah. So like, it's like, okay, the OLED is going to be a problem. That's going to certainly be a problem. Right, and again, another thing from that article is saying, you know, a Toshiba spokesperson, I think is what it was, and they said that, that actually, oh, why'd I do that? That's not what they said, of course, but that's, <laughs> right, the game consoles have the highest demand, and so they will have the least percentage fulfilled. That's not exactly what they said, but that's kind of, I put into my own words there. Why did I pull that? Oh! Game consoles have the highest demand for chips. Think about it, right? You're trying to sell, you're trying to pull millions upon millions of units here. And that takes a lot of effort, takes a lot of, of power to do that. And it's just, it's not everything's going to be nice and rosy. I hate to put it any other way, but it's it just not going to work out right right now if, this short, if these shortages continue. And it looks like that it, 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 it is going to continue. So that's going to be a big problem. Now, again, when could it end? I have no idea, honestly. It could end, you know, I, I, I honestly see it continuing into 2022. And that's just from a layman's perspective. That's not even, you know, from a dedicated, like, I think you're just, it's, it's, COVID is still there. And I think that's important to note, um, you know, around the world, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be kind of tough, you know, to, to get it done and to, you know, make, upgrade production it's uh it's something that that we're going to have to keep an eye on that's it's 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 a very worrying sight it's a very worrying prospect so i don't know what's going to end up happening with that honestly anything could happen i'm not an analyst like i said so i could never tell you what it is uh what it's like uh in the industry i could never tell you because i don't have a degree in like chip stuff oh come on Oh, we have the lead, though. Okay, that's fine. Now we're going to get to our main story. The meat and potatoes. What, uh, what I really want to talk about today. And that is the, uh, the leak, or the rumor, or whatever, that Game Boy and Game Boy Color games are going to be coming to Switch Online very soon. I, that's tantalizing. They, uh, report... Uh, sources uh, at Nintendo Life and Eurogamer, they both uh, corroborated, they both confirmed it, sources at both places. <gasps> oh my god. 
Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, that's new. Ah, uh, shoot. Now they got momentum. Yo, Andy's on fire. Right? But going back to the Switch. Going back to the Game Boy Color. Uh, they, it only seems like it's going to be Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games. That's all it seems to be right now. Now, I'm not sure what it could end up looking like. What could the, what could the, uh, what could the landscape looking like with that? Uh, I think it definitely gives people an incentive to, to try out Switch Online, at least. And because it's, again, it's a lot more than just, you know, you gotta have more than just online. It's like, why is PlayStation Plus so successful? It's so successful because... It's, the PlayStation Plus is so successful just simply because of the fact that it's, it's so successful because it's got free games. I mean, what more could you ask for? And yes, the Switch has that, but it's, it's not necessarily like, you know, it's, it's not, it's not your big shot games. It's a, it's super, it's, it's super dodgeball on the NES. It's, you know... The Adventures of Lolo on the NES, and it's like Super Tennis on the SNES, and that's like it, right? Now, I'm not saying that those are bad games, right? I think like games like Solomon's Key are awesome, but what I'm trying to say is, for a casual gamer, for, for somebody who would, who would want something like that, oh, come on, we lost. For somebody who wants that, like me, who, or like somebody who's, a, who's not a collector or who doesn't really like, no, that's a great intro to NES and SNES games. But at the end of the day, it's also more so of a, it's it's more, you know, like, I wouldn't want that if I wasn't, like, somebody who likes retro games. I would not be somebody who wants that. Now, granted, that's just my opinion. That's not, it doesn't have to be yours. Uh, and it's, I'm never saying that, like, it's, you know, that's bad. But you need more. We haven't gotten a new console in two years, and that's a problem, or a new console emulator. And so over time now, it's just like, what is there? Well, there isn't much. There's, you know, you got SNES, which is fine, you got NES, but there are only so many good games on each system. At some point, you got to get into your N64, because that's where it starts to really get good. That's where it's more, it's not just Mario World and stuff. It's now just many more hits, your Mario parties, your Mario Karts, your your Kirby's, you know, more a ton of those games started coming out on uh on on these consoles. And that's a great thing. That is an awesome thing. So, what's my takeaway from this? Well, I think it's going to be a welcome addition. But again, take that with a grain of salt. Take these reports with a grain of salt. They weren't able to name names. All they said is just according to sources. And with that, I get a little nervous. How do we know, okay, how do we know that these people are, are even real if we don't even know their names? Now, granted, I guess for the sake of secrecy, yes. But even still, even still, it's worrying. And so take that with a grain of salt. That's important. But my question is, is what, what games should there be? What, what games should we have? And by the way, I probably should have my audio on. Uh, that's important. Uh, yeah, there we go. That was a mistake. I didn't even notice. <laughs> what games should we have? I've seen some pretty cool mock-ups. I've seen some pretty snazzy mock-ups from, from things like, you know, like Kotaku had a, ran a good story on it. Uh, they all ran, uh, most major gaming news sites ran good stories on this stuff, and it was very good, um, I appreciate it, it was, uh, it was all very cool, but at the end of the day, I mean, still, there are a lot of games on the Game Boy, which I, I want, because I do have a Game Boy, that's important, I have a lot of Game Boy games, uh, I don't have a lot of Game Boy games, I have a lot of Game Boy Advance games. Right, but like, what? Like, there's so many bangers. There's Legend of Zelda's Link the Wake, uh, Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. There's, you know, there's Mario Land, Mario Land Two, Mario Land Three, Wario Land. Uh, 
all these games, you know, and there's more. There's so many more. There's Metroid. There's Mega Man. There's Kirby Dr Kirby's Dream Land, which got which started the Kirby series. All that stuff came out on the Game Boy. I think the Game Boy is a step in the right direction because it isn't like more niche titles. It's a lot more mainstream stuff that came out on the Game Boy and your N64. That's great. Now, again, like I'm saying, it isn't that there was no mainstream stuff on the SNES and the NES, but, like, it's it's more so, it's more so, it's more so that it's, you know, something else. So, right, that's important. Ooh, what a sky hill. Now... What are now? You might ask. Okay, what are, what are what are my thoughts on like Game Boy Color games? Now, Game Boy Color is Color is an interesting thing. Now, of course, the question that will always be brought up, the question that people will always ask me is this. They'll always ask me. Okay, do, do you think the Game Boy Color is a separate console? Now, I don't know. It might as well be. It might as well be. Also, I never realized, I didn't ask people how they were doing. I'm sorry about that. I should have asked before. I apologize. Um, I'm sorry for that. So what I'm saying is this. Okay? Oh, shoot. What? You know, I think the Game Boy and the Game Boy Color are going to be great, but then what about Game Boy Advance? That's my question. That's important. Because Game Boy Advance is a tricky, it's a very, very, it's very, very tricky. It's very, very tricky. It's more so about, like, other stuff, not just, like, what, not just, you know, like, you got Advance Wars coming out as a remake. That's my, that's what I'm nervous about. You got, you know, like, what's that going to mean? Are they not just not going to have Advance Wars? Are they going to, what are they going to do? Are they just not going to release Game Boy Advance games just because of remakes? That's worrying me. That's worrying me a lot. That's worrying me a lot. And so I don't know what's going to happen. Oh. That's worrying me. And one more tidbit on the report. Uh, you gotta remember... Another interesting thing I found from this, okay, you might ask, okay, well, accuracy, just because we don't know the names doesn't mean it isn't accurate, but you'd be right, and this is where I agree with you, because you have to also remember that, that before, you know, a leak revealed, you know, remember there was that leak in the, S, uh, in the NES emulators files or wherever in the, in the Switch Online app that gave us, uh, gave us the stuff. And that's important. They gave us the gave us the data for the SNES, and that's important because that shows you that that stuff like this has been accurate before. That's important, in my opinion. You gotta have in something establishment of accuracy, and that's important. That's extremely important. That was a very bad block there. I should have. That was. I sh wow, they're moving. <gasps> Yo. Bang. Oh. Uh, oh, no. Good. Get it. No! Okay. That stinks. That's a pain. It's 37.30. We are getting absolutely crushed. I'm kind of not paying attention. Kind of paying attention right now. And our third. Our third and final. Our third. Our third. Our third and final point today is uh, we got a PlayStation Showcase coming up on the 9th. Interesting, interesting. I think that uh, that's going to be nice. I, I have a PS4. I, I don't have a PS5, so I won't really care. I don't... PlayStation's kind of gone downhill for me since PS3, so... You know, that's something. That's uh, that's not good. Um, so I wouldn't say that at all. You know, like, it, it's... It's, it's got definitely been worse. This lot launch has been botched. But they announced it on the 3rd on their PlayStation blog. And, 
you know, it's going to just be updates on games from, like, I think they said PlayStation Studios, their other in-house development studio. They said that and more. I don't know. They're trying to compete with Xbox, and Xbox did just have uh, some stuff that was strong. I don't know, folks. It could be something. It could, could be something that's not. I mean... I just can't think like Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart was good. What else do they have that makes it worthwhile though? What is there? There isn't much, sadly. There isn't much. There, there's still certainly a lot which we got. Uh, we got see from PlayStation. You know, it's like the, the where is everything? It's nowhere. Okay, that's just garbage. That's that's cherry picking. That's. Oh no. No. Are you serious? They just go on these huge runs. Why are they so good at stealing? Nice. Bang! Nice! Yeah, and they said it's gonna run for 40 minutes, so that's what, five days time? Five days time? That's that's not bad. That that's that's fine. I mean I can wait. But I don't know if I'm gonna tune in, honestly. I could, I could not, I got no idea. Darn it! Getting crushed right now. And I honestly think, let's take a look at the game for a bit. I'm gonna keep the stuff up in case I think of something. But that's all the news we have for today. I honestly, I mean, again, another thing is, I mean, this is, but honestly, I gotta say though, talking a bit about my day though. I mean I, I, I went on a big run today, which was nice. Went on a nice went on a nice big run. Did a 5k race in cross country and I ran it in uh, 20 minutes and 24 seconds, which which was pretty good. Uh that was that was uh that was good. I did uh that was good. Ooh nice. Yeah, so I went on this run and it was like absolutely like kind of brutal, not gonna lie. There were these hills on, like, my second mile, and they were so tough. Like, it was really tough. It was, uh, something that I, uh, it was something I was not a fan of. It was just, it was, it was brutal. It was brutal. Like, it was like, oh, uh, I was, it was exhausting. It was, it was tiring. Why did I hear something pop on my TV? That's, bruh. Where's the goaltending at? Hmm? So there's that? Oh! Why? Ah! But that's all, that's what we have for news. And I honestly think something also that was going to be interesting is, is I was watching a great video from a YouTuber, Arlo, about uh, the Switch's longevity. Okay, the Switch now, and I can't believe I'm saying this. Switch has been around now for four years, almost five. Now, I do want to know though, what what are what are your favorite games on the Switch? Okay, let, let me know. I know I'm gonna post this to YouTube in a bit, so if you are watching this, let me know in the comments. Uh, that's something. But like, I I think, in all honesty, I I just think that uh, it's it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be. You know, a while before the Switch goes. Switch is now sold, I think it was, according to Nintendo's information, 89 million units. It was like 89.04 million units, which is crazy. You know, I got my... I, I mean, I think this has been, in terms of quality, one of the best consoles, just period. Because you don't have games like Madden that are, that are stinking up these other, you know, these other things. You don't have any of that crap. It's not like that. It's not like that anymore. It's not like that anymore. You, you know, we, we kind of cut the crap at this point. That's a good thing. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Ah! You cut the crap. And so, I mean, think about all the games. You got Mario Odyssey. You got Mario... You got uh, Mario Odyssey. You got Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. You got... Breath of the Wild, you got, you know, new games coming in in Metroid, and, you know, you got Smash Ultimate, you got Mario Kart, you've got, you know, Mario Maker, you've got all these games, and indie titles, we forget about the indie titles, the indie titles 
are are amazing. There is so much on the Switch that that just makes it absolutely astonishing and absolutely incredible how good it is. You know how much is there, and it's incredible how much there is that is there, and it it is something to behold. In all honesty, something to behold, something to behold, and it is it is frankly incredible. I could you know I have so much. Oh, that's garbage. That's garbage. That makes me so mad. They just go and steal it and they bring it back down the court like it's like nothing. Nice. The Switch has been around, I mean, for four years now. And, again, in that time, there's been so much that's been going good. That's what, you know, that's what just the Nintendo, you know, what makes a game console good? Not, it, you know, a console could be as niche as it as it could be, and it could still be good. Why? Because the games have to be good. That's important, my friends. That is important, because at the end of the day, you know, you're going to have to find something, you know, and be... What I'm trying to say here is, is, is you know, the games have to be good to make a console good, and these, the cycles for Nintendo has been incredible. It's been nothing short of incredible. It has been, I cannot describe to you how incredible it has been. It has been an, an amazing, it has been amazing. I can think, I, I, there are so many games which are really, really good on the Switch. And that isn't even scratching the surface at this point. There is just so much here that is really good. And there's, why did I shoot that? There's so much here that is really, really good. And it is, it is, you know, like, you could just spend hours, you know, and it, how long, you know, again, we're starting to reach the point, there's a point in a console's life, and the Switch has reached it now, and it's, it's, it's the point, there, there are multiple phases, you know, you, you, right now for the Switch, you've gotten to a point where you're not even just, you know, you, you, you run out of that first tank. Right, it's like, if, if, it's, like, you've already scraped the bottom of the barrel of new games, really. Like, it's like, am I going to really be watch? like, am I going to play Project Triangle Strategy? Probably not, but, what I'm trying to say, what my, what my point is, is this. My point is, the, with the Switch, it's, it's, it's more so, it's more so that you've run out of games that are going to be good, that you're going to want to play. Simple as that. That, to put it bluntly, that is what I'm trying to say. That the Switch has run out of new games. You're not going to see any more Splatoon 2s. And so now you've gotten into the era of, of, you've gotten into the era of sequels and just more of the same. So Splatoon 3, your Splatoon 3s of the world, your, you know, your, your Breath of the Wild sequels. And so now you not only have you coming out, your, not only are you coming out with something uh, with like, you know, similar gameplay, you've also, you've also put a burden of expectation on yourself saying, hey, No! Oh, it's into the half, into the third. You've also put a burden of expectation on yourself. And that a burden of expectation says, hey, I played Splatoon 2. I liked Splatoon 2. Now I've got to play Splatoon 3. And Splatoon 3 has to be good. And therein lies the problem. Splatoon 3 and stuff like that, that's going to be a nuisance for Nintendo because now you're going to have to match people's expectations with not something new, you're not making a leap, but now you're just more of the same. How are you going to innovate? And when that innovation is gone, that's when people don't like your games. And we saw that with like Madden and stuff. That is something that's a problem. Also, why are we getting everything stolen from us, huh? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Like, it's unfair. This is unfair. Oh, nice, good. So there's a lot going on here. 
There's a lot going on here. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna switch this over again. We're gonna move into our next segment. Now this is called Game Talk. And Game Talk, after Game Talk, we're going to run an ad break. And uh, this is going to be where it gets interesting. So let's go. Well, let's get back into NBA Jam. Now let's take a look at the actual game rather than talking about something else and just playing the game mindlessly. I always think that that's better. And that's something that, let's pay attention. Okay, I didn't even know who we were playing against. It's Miami. And look at this. What are these? Are these what uniforms were like for Miami? See, I only remember, like, 2000s Miami. I don't know about you, but I'm, I, you know, I only really remember, like, Big 3 Miami and stuff. So, yeah. Now, again, I love playing as Detroit because of just, they're, they're, they're just really good in this game shooting-wise. And I just love shooting in this game. But they're so, now, the problem is, is they're very bad on defense. So, you gotta basically make every shot you can make. And, uh, you know, you can't miss. And that, that is tough. Please don't go in. Do we just... Overtime. Oh, it's the end of the four. How does this work? Hmm. This is actually kind of interesting. How, how do we do this? How does this work? Let's take a look. That's not what I wanted to do. See, now we've reached the section of this talk show where we're just taking a look at the game itself... And uh, we're talking about that instead of, uh, of other stuff. And so, uh, but I, this game, so this game, like I said, came out in like 93, 94 in arcades. And I just, you know, it very over the top, very exciting, very, very, very much action, a uh, ton of action. Uh, I say no more. Uh, there is just a ton of action. Now I need to get a co-host, and I have an idea for a co-host because... Honestly, right now, it's like, okay, it's just me talking, and I can't really sustain the conversation on my own. It's just like a, it's a guided normal stream. So, I'm going to see if I can get a, uh, get a friend of mine in, a, uh, in future episodes in, in here, and maybe he can talk with, uh, with us about gaming. But I do want to know, folks, how are your days going? How are you? Please, I, do, I really want to know. So... You know, drop something in chat. Uh, I, I really would like to know. Like, I, I'm, I'm genuinely interested in what, what, how you guys are doing. I know it's, uh, it's kind of tough because, uh, you know, life and stuff. And I know a lot of people can't be here. So, it's fine if you, uh, if you can't do stuff. That is okay. That's fine by me. A-okay. Good steal, by the way. This is so brutal. Like, I just feel like I keep missing everything, and it's very, very frustrating. Bang. Nice dunk. But it's still a two-point game with, uh... We don't need a score. Son of a gun. That's game. That's stupid. We lost again. Bruh. Okay. Um, well... This is... We, we gotta get this win. I feel like we're just getting stolen so much. Like, look at look at the steals. It's like seven, nine steals to our uh, four. So like, it's like, wow, we 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 are we are just getting stolen here. Uh, not good. Um, I am determined to do this though. We're going to get this. No initials, please. Thank you. And maybe I might do a stream like tomorrow or something like that. Wait a minute, why am I the Suns? Why am I Charles Barkley? You know what? I'm fine with this. Actually, no, I'm not. Oof! Let's turn this thing back on. Can we see stuff? We can. Good. Yeah. So, the game... I can't. I am exhausted from cross country. I am burned. You know, I'm. I'm. I'm just very, very tired. Uh. So yeah, I. I am exhausted with this stuff. Like I. I am just. I'm tired. I'm just. I'm just tired. So you know what? 
let's just move right in. Actually, no, I can't. I, I can't. I was going to just move right into our next segment, but uh, I do realize that we literally just got started on it. But hey, how are people doing? Uh, I, I don't want this. I don't want this. How do I get out of this? Okay. This is weird. I'm having technical issues. Yes! But hey, how are people doing? I really hope everybody is doing well today. I know I am. You know, how, how have I been doing? Like, what have I been doing, you might want to know. Well, this week, you know, I've been very busy. I'm sorry I haven't been able to stream. It's just going to be like this, sadly. You know, I'm going to be streaming once a week, and that's fine. But I definitely do like this format of full stop. I, you know, I've been coming up with it. It's been kind of, I've been working on it for a while now. You know, I've really, really been wanting to do this. Just because, you know, it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time as a talk show. The only problem is that I need to have people who want to do it with me. And that's what I'm going to figure out soon. So, but important to note, okay, this is the pilot episode. So, you know, we got uh, we got stuff we got to work on. And I, I fully acknowledge that. But please tell me, if th is this boring? Like, I need to know because it's important for me to know. Because then it won't be boring. And that's, that is extremely important. All right, we got to pass it around. Good. That's very good. We need to get that, that passing on. But, like, please, just let me know if this is boring or if there's something I need to work on. That's my most important thing. There's a reason why this is a pilot episode. It's supposed to, it's supposed to have, you know, let stuff get figured out and stuff. And I know this won't be the most successful thing to start, but I hope that it is, uh, it does help somebody or make somebody, you know, watch or have something interested like that. I know we've been, this is, it's very different from what I've done in the past. You know, before it was like I play and I talk and it's kind of like whatever gets to my mind. And I think that I like that a bit. But ultimately I felt like I just, you know, I need something more structured because it'd be like I'd just sit there and I'd be like, oh, 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 what do I do? What do I do? I, 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 I don't know what to do. And it's like, okay, but like, that's like, that, that's a problem. Big gun. Right, so I think the important thing is, is again, I want this to be better for you, not for me. I really don't want, like, I don't want, I don't want this to be like crap and nobody tells me about it. I need to know. I need to know. You know, so please, I beg of you, let me know. You know, wherever, whenever. I, I just, I just want to know, please. That's, that's all I want. Also, where are the shoes significant? But why are my shoes blue? Now they're white. Now they're back to blue. Is that just a thing? Oh. We need a block. Nice. Nice. Boom. Nice. I like it. Good, good, good. Good ending. Good ending. But overall, you know, there is certainly a lot which I got to you know, which is, which is, uh, which is good. I'm sorry, I gotta, gotta check this for a sec. Uh, hmm, uh, what did I want to do? I forgot. Okay. But today, like, today, you know, there's a reason why I don't want to do this. I never really got into why I wanted to do this. You know, I, I didn't want to do that. Why did I want, why did I want full stop to exist? Why, why, why did I want that? Well, the answer is, you know, I, I, like I said, I've always wanted to have a talk show. I've always been interested in, like, the talk shows of the world and, you know, being like, hey, we can express opinions and we can talk about stuff all the time, you know, and it's a great thing and it's, like, really interesting and, like, like, that's something that's just so, so great and so cool and it's, like, that shot because now they go on this tier and I just love talking but I want to talk to people we're getting absolutely shellacked wow we haven't scored a point in so long we need to create money money 
Money! For three. So yeah. Money. And I swear uh, I need to get this done. Ooh. Bang! He drains it for three. Wow. Wow. That's absolutely incredible. Beautiful. 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 Nice. Good block. Pass that over here. For three. Nice, 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 nice. Steal it. Steal it. Let's go. Let's go. For three. Oh, he's cash. He is cash. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh. Cash again? No. That's garbage. That's trash. Ah. <laughs> uh. Still though, that is that is garbage, and I don't like it. Half time, half time report. No. Excuse me. Okay, we're gonna come into half time. Not like that. Not like that. I keep I keep thinking for certain because this is the problem when you play too much NBA Live. And you start to think that, okay, uh, now this button's that, and it's like the other way around with NBA Jam. With NBA Live 95, A is to pass and C is to shoot, which I like more. But in NBA Jam, it's the other way around. It's C is to shoot, and A is... Sorry, yeah, A is to shoot, C is to pass. That's so whack, in my opinion. Why did they have to do that? I don't know, frankly. Frankly, I don't know. And I have no clue why. Very weird in my opinion. Very much weird. But like still, like it's like, okay. Good steal. For three. Wow. Tie game. Good tie, good tie. Alright, this is gonna this is gonna take a lot of willpower if I want to uh if I want to win this. Oh, that's trash. Good. No. He's on fire. Why I oughta. They just go on these chairs. Go get him, go get him, go get him, go get him, go get him. Ah. Ah. Take it. Oh, he's money. We're, we're like close yet far. We're, we're, we're close. Money. That's not good. They fire back with a three, but we fire back with a dunk. It is... Oh, end of the third, still a close game. We might be able to pull it out. We might be able to pull it out. I really hope we can pull this out. Why am I, why am I so indecisive? I keep like, is it talk show? Is it retro? I think it's retro. I think we put it under retro. Just want retro. Why can't I have? This is why we can't have nice things. I just want my retro. Where's my retro at? Boom. Okay. Let's get right back into this. Now Lambeer is the ball. Now Lambeer is gonna hit that, and uh, that's fine. Okay. Uh. Oh! I thought that was gonna be a boom shakalaka. It turned out not to be. Nice. That's a good one. I thought that was going to seriously be a boom shakalaka. Same animation. I like it. But I could spend hours playing this game. This game is honestly great. No matter how much I lose. Boom. 
Come on. Oh. Oh! Big dunk. Big dunk right here. Big dunk. Big dunk. Okay. It's coming down to the wire. Coming down to the wire. Three pointer. Oh. Money. Corner. Oh! It works every time! No! He stole it! That's bull crap. That's crap. You know what? At this point, I don't even want to. At this point. At this point. At this point. Do I even want to play NBA Jam anymore? I feel like I'm all jammed out. Not gonna lie. Uh, how about this? Why don't we finish it off? Let's finish it off with some Wii Sports Resort. My bread and butter. Okay. What do we think? It's a rant. It's a random. It's random. It's a good game. And that will be our last half an hour. It will be like half an hour, like... Half an hour gaming time, I guess. It's like, uh, you know, not from the episode. Uh, not for the episode, maybe? Why don't we do it? I am going to put on a Be Right Back, and then we're going to do some Wii Sports stuff, because why not? Um, this is going to be our, our change of pace from today, because I am honestly pretty tired from NBA Jam. There's only so much you can do. Um, and let's get into it. I'm gonna put on this be right back. So, please, I will be right back. And we are back. Welcome in, everybody. It's good to be back. And yes, we are playing more Wii Sports Resort. And uh, we are back, yes. And I really want to just play some Wii Sports Resort. Uh, yeah. Um, well. Well, hey. It's Wii Sports Resort. And it's a talk show. I think it would be funny if we just played Wii Sports Resort every time and it'd just be like talking with Wii Sports Resort. Let's see what I want to work on. Alright, I've been doing a ton of cycling. My thing didn't change, did it? Let's change it. And I hope you uh, enjoyed your ads. Sorry, I just don't want to. I don't want any stuff. So here we go. Um... Uh, plus we Sports Resort. Now we can get into the meat and potatoes. Okay, now we can actually talk about stuff. Because now I don't have to, uh... Now I'm going to give a quick outline on this game. So we're doing a dual... This is like a dual game spectacular, shall we call it. Uh, that is the deal. Because I am, I am a bit 
tired of uh, NBA Jam for now. Maybe I'll play a bit later. But this is Wii Sports Resort. You've probably heard of it. You've probably played it. Uh, you've probably done this stuff. Uh, and you probably really like it. So, yeah. Uh, this is Wii Sports Resort. And this is To The Beach. Uh, we are doing some cycling, and uh, I'm interested to see if I can uh, cycle. Um, how do we, how, let's go. I'm interested in this. I like checking my times, too. Can I do better is the question, though. Oh my god. Eggman. The wind is blowing against me. I will not fail. I am Eggman. But yes, so talking about, okay, what are my thoughts on Wii Sports Resort? I've been playing this game forever. I mean, I don't know what there is isn't to like about it. It's just a good game. All right, drift. Nice. What I hit? What did I possibly hit? Also, why am I going so slow? I feel like I'm just really bad right now with this. Come on, Eggman. Come on, Eggman. Come on. All right, Eggman. Come on. That's garbage. Here we go. Let's get into it again, shall we? <laughs> Our best time is 207. Okay. Uh, I think we can do better, though. I definitely think we can do. We, we can do better. And yes, this is. I'm not speedrunning this. This is just very casual. Uh, so let's see how well we can do. Uh. Okay, that was an embarrassing start. The starts are the one problem that, like, I have that's, like... Well, that was good. Oh, my gosh. And then why do so many people get, like, exhausted? And then I hit all of them. And then I can't... That loses me time. Do you see the problem here? It's a problem. It's a paradox. Now I gotta get... I gotta get on the drift. That's... That's, uh, order number one of business. Uh, can't hit anybody. Because that's gonna lose me time. But I need to get this done. Here we go. Go Eggman, go. Go Eggman, go. That was, okay, that is very suboptimal. Darn it! It's always right there that I get exhausted. Can I get it though? Hey, 
look at that. Look at that. Second place. Let's go. All right. Let's get into our next segment. Our next segment on the day is what I'm playing. Now, this is going to be a short 15-minute segment. And it's going to uh, talk about what I uh, what I am playing. It's called currently playing, actually. It's not what I'm playing. Now, I really like this thumbnail. The thumbnail I made for this one was really nice. And uh, I really liked it. Uh, it was it was one of my better thumbnails. I really like the gradient on the font. It's really nice. Really nice. But, yes. This is what I've been playing. Okay, it's just all been Wii Sports Resort, okay? It's been like Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort. Originally, I made this game talk thing and like what I'm playing because I was playing a ton of Wario Land 4 and I really liked it. And I was like, I want to I wanna talk about Wario Land 4, but I don't really play Wario Land 4 anymore, so it wouldn't qualify as currently playing. So what have I been playing? Well, for one, of course, Wii Sports Resort. A lot of cycling, been doing, trying to get on the, the grind with cycling, seeing what I can do, like how how can I do with cycling. Now granted, I'm not the best, and I can definitely be better. I can be a lot better. Ooh, that was nice. I'm liking this. I'm liking the drift. Ooh, nice. Smooth. That was smooth. Alright, can we get here? Go. Go, Eggman, go. Go, Eggman, go. It's just all been Wii Sports Resort, not gonna lie, is what I've been playing as of late. Nothing too much. Hey, Gaming God 31, how are you? I hope you're doing well today. We're just doing some Wii Sports Resort cycling here. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Son of a gun. I'm doing good, you. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. I'm running a talk show here called Full Stop, but I hope you're doing well. Are you a fan of Wii Sports? I hope you are. I play Wii Sports. Oh, nice. That's nice. That's nice. I like it. I like it. What sports? What sports? Yeah, so right now I'm talking about just what I'm playing on this on this segment. I'm doing the talk show. And uh, I'm, this is just like the, the first episode, but like I, yeah, I'm doing, trying to figure this out. You do play Wii Sports. That's cool, though. That's cool. Yeah, but any particular sports you like? I've been playing this so much, though. I've been playing like cycling and stuff. And so, uh, you know, I've been, I've been obsessed with that, but... Uh, you know, that's just the things. <laughs> but uh, I'm a fan of cycling. Look, what are you a fan of? In Wii Sports. But like, I, I like, I play Wii Sports Resort. I play Wii Sports. I play, I got a Switch. I like playing on my Switch. Like, you know, Wolong Sword play table tennis, boxing tennis. Those are good ones. Sword plays a ton of fun. I like table tennis too. Bowling's great too. Have you ever bowled a 300? I haven't. But I, peop, I a lot of people I know have. It's tough, though. I can't seem to ever bowl like a 300, like, in this stuff. Do 
You beat Matt in Circle A and no, I never got the Ridge score. Okay, but that's good though. Matt's nice. Congrats on beating Matt. Okay, this thing is seriously messing with my head. But that is cool though. Let's see if we can beat this. Oh my gosh! The lag! The lag! That's funny. But like, yeah, this is like all I've been playing as of late. Ah! I just got, I just got cheesed. Cheese. That's garbage. But yeah, man is good. I, I, was it tough? Cause like, I've never like, really like gotten so far as to like play Matt. Like, how tough is that? That's gotta be pretty tough though. So congrats on that. And you said you like boxing. I never actually played boxing, but boxing is cool. It's it's such a cool one. You ever do like the training like MMA sports? Oh, that was smooth. Oh, that was smooth. And in boxing, trying to beat Matt, but it is hard. Oh yeah, it certainly is though. It's gotta be. It's gotta be tough though. Well, I hope you do good on that. I wish you luck on that. Cause that is, it is certainly very tough with that. And it was tough to beat Matt and Sorkley. But now not really, yeah. After after experience after you start get like experience, it definitely gets a lot easier, I, I think. Okay, I have not been able to catch any drift at all. There we go. Oh nice. Smooth. Smooth. Yeah, but that certainly is tough, I gotta say. All right, here we go. Here we go. Final stretch right here. Final stretch right here. Oh, looking good in the turn. Looking good in the turn. Who am I drifting with? Anyone? I can't really tell. Hold on, I can't reach that. Cause now you have the highest skill level you can get. So play. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Two oh four! I like it! That's less than hold on. Where where would we be? I'm gonna run this again because I think we can do definitely we can definitely do better. Uh that was to the beach. 204, I like it. Granted, that's still not very good, but uh, in the in the speed running world, but that's still good. Yeah, high skill level. That's gotta be nice. That's gotta be nice. Good job on that. That's nice. I am I am determined to do this. I'm determined to do this. That's a 204. I think we can go better. Sub two maybe. Which I want the skill level higher. Oh yeah, yeah. Then soon we're gonna. So at eight fifteen, we're gonna get into our final segment, which is uh, talking about our upcoming releases of September. And I think that'll be interesting to get people's takes on that. I really hope I can hear your takes on uh, on what's coming out, like Sonic Colors Ultimate and whatnot. Banana peel. Huh, he's Chase. Donkey's Kong. He's the leader of the bunch. You know him well. He's finally back to kick some tail. His coconut gun can fire his first ship. Uh, it's gonna hurt. He's getting stronger and faster too. He's the first member of the DK crew. Huh. Also, this is kind of nice doing this. Cycling has actually gotten really relaxing for me over the past couple of uh, couple of uh, days. 
you know, it's gone a lot. I, I used to always be like really infuriated, like, oh, this is so hard. How can anybody be good at this? But it really like, you get like, at, over time, I definitely feel like once you do better, you get a lot better. I'm a fleet boxing, okay, nice. Feel free. But it was good to have you here if you aren't watching while you're boxing. Good luck with boxing. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. I'm honestly nervous as all heck right now. No! What is this full send? Yeah, this is full send. Hello, Shamble. How are you? Oh my gosh, I'm I'm determined to get this done. I'm going to get this done. Oh, full send. Oh, full send. Oh, sorry, full stop. Yeah, it's my. I was trying to. Son of a gun. Hold up. It's the, my chat box trolled me. There we go. Yeah, full stop. So it was. It's technically a talk show, but I'm. It's kind of like technically on the break. Like it's kind of like a break right now until 8.15, and then we're going to talk about stuff. I got absolutely robbed there. How are you, by the way? Got absolutely robbed. That was going to be like a... Good turn. Good on the turn. Great on the turn, actually. I like that. That was smooth on the turn. Now we just get on the drift. Ooh, that was scary. That was scary. Mm, nerve wracking. And I love how I'm like, I can't hear anything, but it's just like the crackling of the static on here. What the heck? What was that? Okay, this is a talk show. Yeah, it is. Except it's not, uh, this is with, uh, it, it's, it's gonna go, uh, I'm gonna move on to, to my next segment at 8.15. Okay, come on. What is going on? Why? Oh! That went full send over the edge. Shoot. Oh, pizza delivery. Grub hub. Okay, nice. Full send, yeah. Actually, this might be a better idea for me. No. Full stop, I kind of said saying like, hey. It's like, it sounds kind of nice. Wow, I feel like this one with special guest Dennis. True. That actually, I, I, I think it would be funny if he could co-host. I'll talk to him. Go, Eggman, go. Two oh four forty five. Okay, we're right on there with 204. Come on! That's my dog. My dog is barking. Car stream when? Tommy boy soon. 204.20. Okay, that's what we gotta do. Car stream when? Maybe. I, I, I think it would be funny. Hey, actually, wait, what was I going to say? But how are you? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to beat someone in boxing. We both tied. Okay, good luck. Oh, hello. All right, let's get in the cycling. I. It's all about getting the good start, folks. Now, after this, we'll move on to our our final segment on the day. All right, can I get power slide? No, and that was really bad. See, that's the strat I'm trying to watch. That seems to help people a lot with their uh, speed running. This. So I'm trying to see how good a time I can get. All right, let's get behind these. 
There you go. Oh, I rubber banded. Nice. Good rubber banding. I'm a fan. Hi there. Oh, son of a gun. Stupid rocks. Get out of here, rocks. Okay, nice maneuvering. Oh my gosh, I just got hit from behind. That That is not helpful at all. Go. Go. Oh, I couldn't get draft. And I'm getting bumped all over the place. Come on. Cool. Cool. We're probably going to, uh, you know, get... I got boost, yeah. Got to push to the end. Man, you got to get going. There's the finish, Eggman. 2-3-21. I like it. I like it a lot. Good, good, good. Good. Okay, let's move on to our final segment while we keep doing this. And also, my chat box got absolutely wrecked. That's why. Because I moved the thing down. See, there we go. That's much better. That fixed it. Okay, final, final thing. Release calendar. All right, final segment of the day. Let's talk about releases, shall we? What is on the docket? Well, let's take a look. What do I have written down? Nice time, thank you. Yeah, ten uh, two oh three. That's it. That's a, that's good. That's good. That's uh, by second. I like it. I like it. But we still can do better. We got we got bopped uh, quite a few times, and I think we could have done better. So, final segment: release calendar. All right. What's coming out? All right, September. What is this? What is with this hot spot? No, I got no idea, man. I got no idea. No clue. Uh, I know that it's uh it's it's a thing. It's everywhere. But be careful, I felt like I was reading on, like, stuff. I was reading a bit up on it. It seems like it's an IP grabber bot. So, it's a bit dangerous. Yeah, get it out. Yeah, I agree with you. I banned, I banned a bunch of those bots the other day. I went on, a, you know, Commander Root's website, and I just, like, went ahead and I, like, mass banned a bunch of blocks. Or, sorry, a bunch of bots. I banned, like, a good... I think right now I'm up to, like, 120,000 blocks. Which is crazy. Now, granted, I I, 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 I got that extension, the one that's, like, that allows you to turn off Twitch extensions, because I don't know, you know, I, I get nervous with that. Oh, hello, Lucas the Pew Pew. Welcome back in. How are you? I hope you're doing well. So let's talk about releases. As my retainer pops out. Alright, we got September 6th, which is in uh, two days. We got Sonic Colors Ultimate coming out. On, I think it's like uh, Switch, PC, uh, Xbox. I got no idea what, what consoles. I didn't write that stuff down. But that's coming out soon. And I'm excited. I'm honestly excited. You know, I've been waiting for it. And I'm not going to get it because I can just get it on the Wii. But it's Sonic Colors, and it's in 4K or whatever it is, high definition, I don't know. And it looks good. It looks fine. So I'm liking it. It looks good. I'm a fan. It looks good. Come on, let me recover. Recovery 1, Nintendo Switch so much. Yeah, they're, I, I, they're just so expensive now with like everything. It's a bit of a problem. You know, so Song Colors Ultimate, I'm excited. Honestly. I could have pushed that. I could have pushed that. We're so close yet so far. 
So Song Callers Ultimate, it's, it's going to be good. I, you know, I haven't played the original Song Callers, of course, but it's, uh, it seems fine. It seems good. Uh, and to make it, you know, a new again and, uh, you know, a game that's 10 years old now, that's good. Right? So that comes out the 6th. Also coming out the 6th is Bus Simulator 21. Now, I just kind of put this one on here for the memes. Because, you know, it's kind of funny that, uh, that, uh, Bus Simulator 21 even exists at this point. Now, granted, I'm saying a lot of, hard, a lot of people are putting hard work into this stuff. But, like, I'm, like, that's, I, I don't know. It's, it's Bus Simulator. I don't, I don't know. For me, it's just, like, I, I, like, I have Train Simulator, though. And that's, uh, I haven't played it. So, uh, that's mm, interesting. Um... All right, can we get some, uh, oh, I like it, I like it. We just need to recover as much as we can. I'm gonna learn how to drive in real life next, oh, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Nice, I know, I got, yeah, that's cool. Car, cars, cars screen. Oh, that, shoot, all right, I took my eyes off the screen for one sec. So Bus Simulator 21 comes out. At some point. Oh, scary. Scary. Ah, uh, this is scaring me right here. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, good. Not, no, yeah, I can. Yeah, good luck. I'm misreading stuff. Go, Eggman, go. We just gotta keep, keep the turns tight. Keep the turns tight, Eggman. And then 2K22, NBA 2K22 comes out uh, September 9th. And that's, uh, that's not bad. I honestly think that uh, uh, NBA 2K22, that's going to be fine. You know, that's going to be good. You know, I, I don't know how good it will be, honestly. But, like, I'm hoping that, it, that it's decent uh, and whatnot. You know, better than, uh, better than previous years. Because I had to suffer through uh, NBA 2K17 uh, and whatnot. And 16 or, and 18. 16 was good. 18 wasn't. Uh, no! That was such... That was... We were on such good pace. We were on such good pace. I just needed to pace myself there, and I could have had, like, a 202. But 2K22 comes out September 9th. I got no idea what's on it. Uh, I think graphics are going to be better, but that's, like, it. Like, I, I really have no clue what the deal is uh, with it. You know, it could be good. It could be bad. I honestly have no clue. I'm hoping it's good. Um, that's my, that's my hope, uh, is that it turns out to be a decent game. Banana peel. Now everybody's getting exhausted, which I like. Now we can weave in and out of traffic. He's a gamer. Eggman is a gamer. Now he just needs to go fast. Nice. Come on, get some draft, man. Get some draft. Get some draft. So that's that. Then we got Warrior Wear Get Together coming out the ninth, also, which I'm excited for. So we gotta, we gotta. That's going. I'm honestly so excited for Warrior Wear. You know, I don't have a Warrior Wear. I really want one. And oh my gosh, did oh my gosh, we just stomped. Uh, okay. Uh, stomp. That's new. Eggman's gotta go. Eggman's gotta go. Go, Eggman. Stomp. I've never seen that happen before. That's new. Nice. Cool. Okay. Go Eggman, go. We got, we got to keep ourselves steady. Two a one fifty, nice. Nice, Eggman. Good job, Eggman.
Good job, Eggman. Nice. 201.50. I will gladly take it. Wow. Okay. Okay, Eggman. I see you, Eggman. Nice, Eggman. A good, a good, a good 202. Or 201. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting to get a 201. That's kind of nice. Wow. Okay. Good. 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 Nice. Okay. Well, let's keep going. Let's do another one stager. Uh, yeah. We'll do, uh, we'll do, uh, We'll do uh we'll do over Talon Rock. Why don't we do over Talon Rock to finish off the night? Uh, I'm feeling like I can go for a bit longer uh, than normal. Okay. So, all right, I got one more game. All right, Life is Strange. I think is two colors, and that one seems interesting too. I've never really gone to the series, but but I think I'll like it. Uh, all right, it looks interesting, of course. Um, so what's the root for this one? Uh, all right, talk show is kind of falling apart and we're 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 uh we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna go and we're gonna do this okay what's my what's my time what's my time what's my time all right uh i gotta i gotta restart i gotta i gotta get it i gotta get a take i gotta get a take 244 i love life is strange the second game the ending sucked oh i see i see well i i saw the ending one the ending one or sorry i i i don't know what two colors is gonna be like i know it's coming out on switch that's interesting. 30th place. Here we go. Here he comes. Eggman around the bend. Oh my gosh. He's going. He's going. He's going for the win. Eggman's going for the win here. I feel like this one I'm so is so tough. And this is non optimal read at all. Come on. Draft egg man. Go 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 egg man. Yeah. So what okay. What have uh, what have people been playing lately? Like, has anybody picked up any any like games or stuff? Anything good? I'm only halfway there. Wow, I beat someone by decision and lost skill points. What is that? That's wrong. You shouldn't be losing points on a win, gaming god. That's that's really weird. Why did that happen? That stinks. Sorry about that. That that is uh that's whack. But uh. Like, that's really weird. Alright, we still got two stuff. That, I almost got rammed into that banana, and I would have been so upset if that happened. I would have been so mad if that happened. Alright, come on, Eggman. Push! We're almost at the finish, Eggman. Nice! Wow! Okay. Wow. 239. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know what? 
We might just exclusively be on the cycling line like tomorrow or the day after. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think that's what's going to happen. Because, <laughs> okay, this, 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 this just happened. Wow, okay. Um, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna do one more race. That still was not good at all. We could have done better. But at 239, that's actually really nice. Holy cripes. Wow. Okay. What the heck? I am sort of, I am sort of shocked right now. Let's, let's go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get Talon Rock again. Okay, Talon Rock. All right, three, two, one, go. He's off. He's off. Eggman, he's moving. He's going. He's going. Don't land on Pablo. I already bopped somebody once. Uh, that was not fun. Okay, smooth. Smooth. Oh! Wow! Okay. That's nice. Now, this is where I need to work. Make it happen, Eggman. Graph behind someone. Graph behind someone, Eggman. Nice. So you got a, you got another heart there. That's good. That's good. That's very good. Come on, Eggman. Come on, Eggman. Come on. Oh, okay. Shoot. Got bumped. That's not good. Why is this pizza guy so on me? Or like he's like going nuts with me. Okay. Cover. Good. Good. Last run right here, I think, is what it's gonna look like. No mucking shoves me to that banana peel again. Go Eggman go. Go Eggman go. Go, Eggman, go. Eggman. No! No way that just happened. That's garbage. Okay, we're going again. That was going to be like a 235. And that would have been cooked. But of course, I go... I. That was going to be incredible. I think. That's fine now. That's okay. We just need to uh, keep doing what we're doing. We got bumped there too, so I think we could have definitely done better. That's a dangerous landing by Eggman right there. Cool. Cool. Cool, Eggman. Cool. He's a he's a gangster. Everybody gangster, so Eggman riding the bike. Okay, but we can go faster up here, which is nice. Scared. Oh, what? Talk about living on the edge, riding on the literal edge of the thing. That's crazy.
Good job, Eggman. You need more draft, Eggman. Come on, get get the draft. Hey, Gaming God, thank you for the for the follow. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. I know I don't have alert boxes on here right now, but uh, much appreciated. I appreciate the follow. Thank you so much. Come on. Welcome. <laughs> yes, welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in everyone. But welcome to the welcome to the the Sports and Speedrun Follower Club. Be sure to join on Discord. No, it's not called a follower club, of course. But uh, oh, that's garbage. We're doing it again. And again, until I get this. I don't care how long it takes. 239.63. We're getting robbed here. We're getting robbed. Robbed like Rob the Robot. We're like, we're like running out of, we're having like really good races. And then I just try and push it a little too far at the end. And that's kind of my downfall. So I gotta work on pacing and drafting better. We, we, we have been trying. You have Discord. Yes, I do. There's the Discord link to my my announcement server in the description. So feel free to join. Yes. We have been trying to contact you regarding your car's extended warranty. Here we go. Yeah, so feel free to join that. Okay, come on, Eggman. Come on, Eggman. No! No, I did not mean that, Eggman. I did not mean that. She looked him dead in the eyes. And he... Oh, no. Oh yeah, exclamation mark Discord, that's right. I should have put that in that chart. Oh my god, the Mies are out for revenge. The Mies are out for revenge. Mies are out for blood. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I did that. I feel horrible. It's on my conscience now. Oh, come on! Okay, I think we're gonna leave it at that, honestly. I am, uh, this is not going too well. Um, uh, we're bouncing around, but, uh, okay. We went a little later than I thought, but that's okay. But, uh, okay, folks. Have a good day. All right. My name is different on Discord, I see. But welcome in. We only have 10 people, so I kind of know who's new. 
Oh my goodness. I am really upset. We got we got it. We got to do better. We're so close. Like consistent 239s. But like I feel like we're getting out of the tunnel. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. I I, I want to finish it off with a record. I don't care if it's by one hundredth of a second. But this is definitely my final run. I know we can do this. We're going to get this done. We're going to get this done. I know this for a fact. Okay, we're gonna do this. Um, but we honestly, I mean, two forty, we can go better. I know, like, we definitely have a lot more work to do. We're just like, ugh, I just feel so bad because I hit that, I hit, I hit that one me off, and then all the other me's just turned on me. I've never seen that happen before. They're becoming sentient. The me's are becoming sentient. This is this is a worrying development. Worrying development. Okay, there was no need for that break there. Just keep drafting. Go, Eggman, go. Now I'm playing Azor. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Go. Go, 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 Egg Eggman. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh. He... Whoops. Alright, draft. Draft, Eggman. Draft. Good, good. 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 Take the turn. I like it. Going fast on the turn. My hand just went numb. Great. So we got the diamond bone ball, nice. Okay, drafting on here. Nice. Bruh, ending it off on a high note, more like not. I'm doing this. I'm, I'm, I'm determined. I'm determined to do this. Not you, Siri. Okay. We've gone out. We've gone like, a, a, like almost 15 minutes over time. I don't really care at this point. I'm going to do this. Whether, whether you like it or whether I like it or not. Because I just feel like we're like doing so good, but then we just we just get way too ambitious at the end, and that's really hurting us. Okay, that was smooth. Like the movie. Three stars. Or three hearts or whatever. Three hearts, okay. Okay, come on. 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 I'm liking this though. I'm liking the way we're we're drafting. We're drafting good. Uh, we're looking good. I that why does it seem like every Time somebody is doing that as a me. Okay, we're up to three. Push it, Eggman. Push it, Eggman. Push it, Eggman.
Get to that next group bag, man. Feels like I'm the Vinci Vincenzo Simulator. Or I, I can't pronounce names, but I think that's how it's pronounced. Nice. Come on, get three, Eggman. Good, good. It, the way you, the way you bike here is a lot like how you run cross country. Okay, stay behind until the end, then you fly. Like you're at three stars now. Let's go! 240, uh, 238. Now my hand's actually feeling really numb. Okay, folks. Well, good ending. Uh, completed. And uh, I like it. I like it. 238.43 is a good time. And uh, I like it very, very, very much. Um, that's, that's a good one. Um, that's, a, that's a good one. I'm happy with that. That's very good.